What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Michael B. is gone. And hopefully our bad luck is as well. Coalition Relic is a banger. Grave Titan is a banger. Crater Hoof is probably what we're taking here. I think Whisperwood is likely to come back. And uh, we just never get Crater Hoof in this cube. We just never get to play it. So now we're going to try. Mike was clearly jinxing us. I did feel that way. I also did feel there were suspect plays that I made. I mean, it's, they were very subtle, but I could like pinpoint the, the moments where I was like, oh darn, I should have done this differently. And I think it is a lot harder when Mike's here. Not his fault, but just because it is it is another distraction. In addition to chat, in addition to, to streaming. The only green card in this pack is Garrick. So let's cut the green and show everyone else that we're not here to mess around. I don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss Mac B. I don't even think you need the baby in there. I think you just say because I'd miss Mike B. And I don't want to miss Mike B. Um, so again, not great green cards in here. Polychronos is medium. Primal Command is pretty medium. Primal Command does search out Crater Hoof. I bet one. I bet it comes back. We'll see. I don't think it matters either way. I think I don't think either one of these are gonna make or break our deck. Courser is pretty nice though. Again, Utopia Sprawl, another card that could possibly wheel. I think the likelihood of that wheeling is higher than Courser wheeling. Sylvan Carry added. Sure. I'm literally just taking every green card in the pack, which should give us amazing signals. We're basically saying green is not available, so please, F off. I actually do like Immortal Sun. And it's the only card we'd think of playing. I mean, we could splash for Bloodbraid Elf or Muldrifter as well. There was a breeding pool going around. Hmm. I also think, like, if we want to have, like, Nissas and stuff. I mean, green is usually pretty decent on Planeswalkers, Garrick's Nissas. It's just, I think it just depends on if we want to splash for the blue or the red. I think Muldrifter's probably better. And see, then you get rewarded with the Hinterland Harbor, and you're like, okay, cool. And then you get a pack like this where you're like, oh, dang. And then you're like, well, maybe we're just Teamer again. And then you take the, the Wandering Fumeral. Am I in your draft again? Yes. Yes, you are. Well, Venser came back, which is actually kind of shocking. Master of Waves is kind of terrible. Sorcerer Spyglass, I guess we'll sideboard it. 
I don't think I've ever sideboarded a Sorcerer's Spyglass before, but... You know, stranger things have happened. Primal Command did come back. Also a negate. Hey, Razor Ridge Thicket. Disenchant, sure. Sphinx's Rev. Are we Bant? Are we Banting? I showed my mom the stream and she said you were a poop man. That you just pretend to be a gentleman, but really you are a poop man with a potty mouth. Huh. That makes... Yeah, I could see it. Tell your mother to shut up. Sounds like she's got him nailed. I mean, got him. <sighs> I'm real tempted, guys. I think we're just going to go with Tireless Tracker here. Oh, Vivian. Nice. That's a good one. That is one I am fo I'm fond of. Warm Coil Engine also very good, but this card's just great. A poop man. <laughs> uh, poop man potty moth is a higher powder character, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, a little tribe elder. And a teamer land. Dude, I have to I have to break my teamer tradition. I have to do it. It has to stop. Tribe elder is probably just better. Oh, four mana Garrick. Gary. Yeah, that's great. Clever impersonator is also great. Kodama's Reach. Also Karn, not too shabby. Look, Stoneforge Mystic. We never see it. I'm taking Kodama's Reach. Wooded Foothills. Oh, actually, let's get Woodfall Primus. Yeah. If Kitchen Finks, Fine Finality, or Wooded Foothills comes back, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, Avenger of Zendikar. All right, so we're just getting some bangers here. Our right, deck's going pretty sweet. Uh, probably not playing the Venser, I can imagine. Save the Kodama for your mama. Dang. What's happening right now? Elder Gargaroth is happening. That's what's happening. I love an Elder Gargaroth. At five mana, that's a steal. Did I just take steam vents? In case we wanna... Eh. I don't think it's Court of Calling. I think steam vents is probably a better hedge here. Okay, Nick's Bloom Ancient. That's a big fat idiot. Hmm. The problem with Prime Speaker is like we have one four drop to, to pop into the five drop, and we have one five drop. Two, I guess. We have no six drops. I just don't think, I think Prime Speaker is almost too hard to build around and I really don't even like it in cubes. Ketria Triome. I like it better than Treetop Village. The potential to actually like play the teamer cards that I want to play uh, is a lot higher for me than 
having a tap if like because I'm, I'm either going mono green in which case i want very few lands that come into play tapped or i want the power of just being able to splash uh in which case i have sea chrome coast and razor to get two lands i hate but also two two white lands so It's only 16 cards so far. We do need some more 1 and 2 drop. Oh, fine finale, sure. This, I mean, the find half is actually just playable. I mean, you just get two guys back. Which I'm fine with. Quick, mono red, there's still time. What up, Mind Bomber? I mean, worst case scenario, we can still play Venser, we can still play Find Finality, so it's 18 cards. We th I th definitely taking Elvish Mystic here. If Love Struck Beast or Rainforest come back, that'd be great. But I definitely want more one. This is like this is the deck you want the one drops in. I'll also take an Arbor Elf. I'll take a Devoted Druid. Sure. Lumbering Falls is also nice. Another possible card that can come back. Metamorph is real good, but... Again, I think we're just trying to maximize the the Rampage here. I mean, we finally have Crater Huff and Avenger of Zendikar, so... Steel Leaf Champion and Tooth and Nail? I mean, Tooth and Nail is literally just... Uh, I think this might come back. I don't know if anyone else is taking green cards. I think we have with Crater Hoof and Woodfall and Avenger, like, it's gotta be Tooth and Nail, right? Questing Beast. Okay, this pack has been very good for us. Between two ramp creatures, a Questing Beast, and a Tooth and Nail. Like, that's real good. And it's pretty easy to splash, like, one... Uh, island, because then we can get it with Sakura Tribe Builder, we have Sylvan Carry added, we have Kodama's Reach, the one island, the Hinterland Harbor. I mean, that's five green, five blue sources just for this. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm not too proud to take a Consecrated Sphinx. I, I don't know what to tell you. Yep, that was, uh, uh huh.
Oh, Nissa's great. I always wish Nissa could get a forest, not a basic forest. You could always get, like, breeding pool. I, I never felt like it would have been too strong if you got... Oh, Beanstalk Giant also lets us cast... Let's just get another blue here. Alright, this is actually very good. This deck looks sweet so far. I would love it if we had another one drop. Uh, plain Swamp Forest. No, I think it's just Plow Under. I think we're taking out Primal Command. I also don't care about Nyx Bloom Ancient. Ah, dang. That's unfortunate. Night of Autumn is fine and relatively splashable. I mean, this is definitely a 23 I'd play. I mean, I've hit, hit Hinterland Harbor and Ketra to try them. We can easily play two islands. 13 forests. Also, I'm pretty sure we can cut and explanation and, and probably put whatever we whatever we find. Because I'm sure we'll get one more thing. Might even just play Venser if we're just playing blue. Oh, Lumbering Falls is a nice little late pickup here. Um, yeah, none of these are great, but Domri is almost possible to play. Sure. Could also just play 18 lands. I really can't wait till the uh, the dual face cards are in the sets. Yeah, that guy's actually fine. Let's take Day of Judgment. Wow, I'm surprised the Steel Leaf Champion didn't come back. But I do feel better about just putting islands in the deck now that there's no Steel Leaf Champion, so... <laughs> that seems fine. This deck actually looks sweet. 2 and 12, that's exactly what I was thinking. Nice. Alright. Let's see what happens. Keep. We could also play turn two secure tribal and just put a gem razor on it. That's interesting. It's always so weird when no one in the chat says anything for six minutes. I'm just like, it's very weird because like there's so many people that's like. Everyone synced up and, and didn't say anything for that long, and it's kind of strange to me. So, this is actually pretty interesting here. I think we're not going to... Uh, over, please. This is actually... the Like, the odds of them playing an enchantment or an artifact on turn two... Is pretty pretty insane, and now even if they try to kill this, we just get to sack it. Plus, thing in the ice can't even deal with it. Oh, I'm actually tempted to cycle this. Like we have five total lands here. Oh. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh, Mind Bomber. If you feel like it, do your favorite snip or ask your favorite aviator for one. If you don't feel like it, then just go on living your life. Mind Bomber, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Do you guys want to propose some snips and I can pick one? See, I knew we were going to draw this. I was like, maybe I should wait to play a land. Because I was like, what if I draw Lumbering Falls? See, little things like that are really frustrating. Hmm. It's 
Turning this to my hand is real interesting as well. Yeah, if I had this in play, it'd be so much better. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. The thing is, we have a lot of five drops. And I don't think we have time to replay this, really, so... I'm gonna get an island here, just so we can activate the Lumbering Falls with no real issues. Hmm, that's really frustrating. Alright, well... They get a free turn. That's... Wow. We have two 8-drops and two 7-drops in the deck, and all four of them are in our hand. Like, I don't understand. The the odds of, of stuff like this happening is just utterly shocking to me sometimes. I'm just like, but how? <laughs> and they're like, don't worry about it. Did they look at us? Who did they look at? It's targeting us. It left the card on top. Oh, well. Joke's on you, my dude. <laughs> Maybe. I bet they have Counterspell, so. We'll play this first, and then we can go Tooth and Nail, Woodfall, whatever. Oh my god. Oh wow. If they didn't have a counter for that. Thank you. Uh... Oh boy, that's something. Okay, well. Guys, we're giving out free subs in the chat. All you gotta do is suggest tips. Oh, the first people to say something? Are you but did they have to do they have to suggest tips or do they just have to say something? The mono green stompy. Well, it's not mono green, Christopher. I have blue cards. God, you think working at like Card Kingdom or Mox Boarding House, you'd like know, like, w you know, when different colors are are present. Hmm. Um, put up two creature cards from your hand on the battlefield. Let's try this. I mean, if they counter this, we still have Thank these guys, so. <laughs> They're like, what's the worst that can happen? Sublime Epiphany. Okay. Play every color except white. Must pick every nickel bolus above all else. Interesting. I'm gonna write them down just so I can pick from these. If you guys, thank you. What are they doing here? Oh, they're definitely playing. Yeah, they're definitely playing Sublime Epiphany. Sure. You're bouncing these two to your. Wait, what? They're copying thing in the ice. Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty good. I have no idea. Sure. I mean, Urza Stone Fortress, the same thing I said is really hard to do because it's like you have to see those cards. So like, you can't actually, it's really hard to do steps around a specific card. Well,
real surprised if they're able to just come out of this. I mean, like, no matter what we played there, like, that was the only thing we could play, actually, was the Tooth and Nail. We didn't have eight mana. We could have played Kodama's Reach, but... A Braid and Swamp. Wow. So they have, they're playing three colors and they've only, like, shown us... Oh, this is... Interesting. <laughs> Shinobi and Shinobi. They're like, let me loot first. Sure. They're like, okay, now I'll do it. Sure. All right. Legendaries and fixing. Because they didn't play their thing? That's interesting. It's funny because I still think this is correct because, like, if this is what you want to counter, like, Crater is still going to kill you. Why wouldn't you do that with the trigger on the stack? Interesting. They have one card in hand. So they block, we have eight creatures, they block three. They take like five. Sure. They're playing Immortal Sun. We've seen already two, two, two Planeswalkers. That's kind of funny, actually. I don't know what to make of that. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're just hoping we can Crater Hoof, I guess. Oh, now they're, now they're getting their Jace on. I mean, you probably want to Teferi first because then you get to look four deep. If you Jace first, you only get to look three deep because you're putting two cards back and then you're just drawing the card that you put back. You are the Crater Hoof Behemoth that trampled over my... I would never do that. I would never do that. Yeah, see, this is wrong, Lore. Like, if you loot first, you get to look at one card and then you get to look at the next three cards if you Jace. If you Jace first, you get to look at three cards, put two back, and look at one more card. So... I'm pretty sure they're just dead to Crater Huff, but I have no idea how much damage this is. It's probably like a billion. And I have to assume they don't have Counterspell here. Yeah, I'm just going to play land anyway. And they only have one card, so they can't flip thing in the ice as far as I can tell. I would love to know how much damage this is, but I'm pretty sure if they're dead, they're going to just concede. Yep, unfortunately. <laughs> Dang it. Let's figure it out, right? 10, the 15, 16 creatures. So 16 creatures, plus the 5 from Crater Hoof. They're all 1. Okay, so there's 15 damage from the tokens. 5 damage from Crater Hoof. They're all getting plus 16, plus 16. So, 16 times 16, right? Plus the original 20. 276? That seems good. I feel like you should have let me do it, but, you know, whatever. Whatever, dude.
Arctic Avenger, thank you so much for the gifted subs, buddy. I appreciate it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this hand seems good. I will keep it. This also lets us start turn, th turn three with three lands and then put a fourth land into play. Well, let's see what that let's see what that does. Cool story, bro. Uh, the plants were only one power. That guy could be good. Yeah, it's a slow start. We're just going to lose the pack rat. Jeez. Fucking a turn late. That would have been great last turn. Then we can actually play track or play land, and then we'd still have a. Ugh. Magic is infuriatingly frustrating sometimes. I think we're just playing this still because, like, turn next turn Gargaroth is just way stronger than. I mean, I'm sure they can just kill it. They'll just eat to extinction. It's so I'm not like super convinced that's any good, but. If they're discarding Teferi, I'm pretty sure they're just committed to this uh, pack rat plan. Can't even block because then you just make another rat, but I think they're... I don't know why you wouldn't do that anyway. <sighs> Eat to extinction. Yep, just counter it. Sure, seems fucking great. Pack rat into counter spell. Fun and interactive magic. Magic at its finest. Yep. Really, really easy for the the blue green deck to be pack rat. Yep, that's so we can block block, and then they only attack for eight. Yeah, all right. Let's just go to the next game. That was fun. I had a good time. I felt like I, all of my decisions were important. I uh, I made a lot of meaningful plays, and uh, I really had an impact. I had a solid impact on the board. That my opponent couldn't deal with. <laughs> I mean, now I just want to plow under them. Is that is that rude? Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, I don't think Fencer's gonna do it. It's fine. Let's play. I will play first. Sure, we'll keep this. We're on the play. Sounds great. Nothing to do on turn two, unfortunately. Oh, 
Okay, let's see if we can... We know we, we've seen um, Essence Scatter. Sweet. Seems good. Oh boy. Always a pleasure. Super frustrating. All right. Thoughtsies. Yep. Cool. So long, Tireless Tracker. You're leaving with a 7 drop and an 8 drop in hand. Fantastic. Yep, I'm sure they're not going to have an answer for Elder Gargaroth next turn. So, that's good. Uh... All right. Um, four cards in hand. You did not put the top card into your graveyard. So. There it is. There it is. Yep. I mean, I'd rather get Corsair countered than Elder Gargaroth, so. Not to say they're not both going to be countered, because they are. But. and scatter this guy for me. Uh, be great. Yep, mana leak sounds good. Cool. I'm having a good time. How about you guys? Just a straight blast. Never didn't have it. Must be nice. Put it on the bottom. Let's draw a questing beast. That'd be cool. I kinda like Moldrifter actually. It's not terrible, but they do have an active Jace, so. Did you plan to deliver Dream Cleave? Yeah, I played like 20. They were great. They are all up on my YouTube channel. I mean, the odds you don't have something here is, like, fucking slim to nil, so... But you're also running out of counter spells, so, like, maybe... I mean, like... Maybe we have a chance here? Like, we have eight mana, four, five, six, seven... Like, next turn we can Woodfall Primus.
blood sources. Neato. Neato Cazito. Let's get another island. We have plenty of green. Sublime Epiphany, this guy. I mean, they always have it, right? They got Cryptic, Mana Leak, Essence, and Sensor so far, so I'm sure they've drawn every counter spell in their deck. They're just choosing their modes for Sublime Epiphany, which are. Ow. Oh, wow. Fucking so surprised. They're returning my Muldrifter to my hand? Okay. Yeah, Shelldock is active. I don't care. Like, it doesn't really. I don't think this format's super impressive for Sheldock Isle, so. And it's gonna be like Warm Coil Engine. It was a Blood Crypt. Got it. <laughs> this definitely proves my point somewhat. I've never seen a Modus Dream. Interesting. That's interesting. Sure. This is this is this is all very interesting. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what we could have done. We could have actually negative two'd Vivian, played Muldrifter Evoked, gotten Questing Beast, and just went for the face there. That would have been sick. I mean, we can still do that next turn, I guess. Man, a 15 year hiatus seems nuts. Eat to extinction, sure. I mean, we should get the Tooth and Nail next turn, right? For, like, Avenger and Questing Beast? Or not Questing Beast, like, uh... This is so weird, because, like, I literally played Vivian, went to combat, and then post-combat made a guy. And I don't know why you didn't eat my guy before that. Like, then, like if you ate this during combat, I wouldn't get to make a creature. So I'm, like, really kind of confused as to why these plays are so suspect here. We're, like, still losing to mono counter spells over here. One, two, three, four, five counter spells and a thought seize so far. Yep. Sounds Thank good. you. Yeah, I think the I think that Vivian would play would have just been significantly better. Grobinger, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Uh you can have treasure map because I don't want you to counter my shit. I don't want you to counter my shit. And we're just gonna windmill slam a tooth and nail here, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, sure. Let's see if you got up another counter spell. No. Actually, questing beast seems decent to kill Jace. And Crater Hoof, maybe? Interesting. Crater and Ally of Zendikar doesn't do anything. It just gives it, like... It just makes Crater Hoof, like, a 15-15, but, like, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Like, it's it's not good. Like, Crater Hoof's a 5-5. Five, five. We put 9 tokens into play. So we'd have 11 creatures. So Crater Hoof becomes a 16-16. Sixteen, sixteen. They block with an 0-4. They take... They go to 4. 
and then they still have Jace and Karn, and then we have a 5-5. Five, five. Hoof does not give haste, it gives trample. Hoof has haste. Plus X, plus X, and trample. I mean, otherwise we just win, but I mean, like... I mean, it's just like attacking with a big idiot, and then like, okay, there's a bouncer with... You know, and they're not going to bounce it, obviously, but like it gives them a chance to do anything they want. So I'd rather have Questing Beast that gets rid of the Jays. And then have like Crater Heaven Hand. Or we can just play Consecrated Sphinx into play too. I think it's just Questing Beast, Consecrated Sphinx. They have two cards in hand. Yeah, you do that, you scry. Yeah, this seems good, because even if we get to draw two cards, like our odds of hitting a crater hoof are significantly higher. And we did draw once. This is just, just good. This is just great. Unfortunately, this does not draw, this does not draw, and this does not draw. Until later. Reveal the top two. A braid and pack rat. Let's give you a braid, because pack rat is kind of scary. So you have a braid in hand. I mean, pack rat you play and then you just make a rat. I mean, that's not, I don't know, if, I don't know how scary that is, but like after two rats, they can start blocking questing beast. But now we know they have a braid and three other cards. Make a board of 10, 10. They wouldn't be ten tens though. They'd be they'd be ten oh ones. Oh, they no, they would be ten tens, just to show it off. Yeah, right, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know what this is. I'm sure it's gonna be terrible for us. Is just bane fire five? Is what is is just bane fire for questing consecrated sphinx? What is happening right now? fucking amazing <laughs> just like can you ever not have it like that's wild finale is like not a, like i've seen this card played once in the fucking cube and like of course they have it right now bananas Really? Okay, I was like, you really got a counter spell for this guy? One, two. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Finale of Eternity. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. You can have a swamp. You played the swamp. You got it. Kill Garrick. Yep. To the surprise of no one. And I have a braid for the Mole Drifter. Mm 
got it. <laughs> fantastic. Just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, they only have Karn, Nicol Bolas, Ezkanta, and Treasure Map. Like, I don't think we're... I, th I think we're actually doing really well right now. They've only countered, like, six of my spells. So I'm actually pretty surprised we're not winning this. <laughs> it's, like, basically a mono blue deck where they're like, I can splash this triple black red card. Why not? Sure. I have five cards left in their library. We're still gonna lose to like four pack rats next turn, but fucking amazing. Jesus. This is amazing. Like, they have black bike. They just make three rats this turn and then just kill us with pack rat because eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lands. Seems good. Fourteen lands. I mean, we've, we've drawn 21 cards. Or 29 cards and 14 of them have been lands. Not including Tribe Elder, Beanstalk Giant, Elvish Mystic, Devoted Druid. Yeah. Wait, what? You just bounced all your rats? What the f- that's the- Wow, that was amazing! <laughs> oh, wow. Wow! Oh man, these have been some plays here, dude. Make two rats, bounce things with my Awoken Horror. What do they even target with this? They targeted their own pack rat and then it got countered. So they actually like discarded three cards just to flip this. And what the fuck are they? What is going on? <laughs> Making a 2-2? Two -two? This is wild, dude. These have been some seriously questionable plays. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we can do it for, of course. Why wouldn't you have a counter spell? Oh, you have condescend. I didn't even count the stupid. Right? Did you put it in your hand? Yeah, I think so. For 11? Yeah, I can't pay for that. Buddy, you, you know I can't. Well, I don't know. This has been a pretty hilarious game. I mean, they make two rats and they kill this one, right? So that's fine. Sure. Win every game with pack rat. I mean, Avenger of Zendikar would be pretty pretty sick, and I don't actually know how they beat that. My kingdom for another forest. Whew, getting close. Play land. Flip Noosa. Uh, 
Oh, God, I'm so close. Uh, block here, block here. We take one, two, three, four. Sure. Wrong seven drop. Yeah, we just have to pass here. They're going to make one more rat, so they're going to have two three threes. Five, five blocks, three, three. We take three, four, five. We go to one. They have five minutes on the clock. We have 12. Like, oh, boy. Yep. I mean, did you hit a card or what? Like, why is it taking this long? You have like three cards in your deck. You're drawing two of them if, if one of them is a spell here. I guess maybe one's not a spell and they're just like putting them back the way they want. Which is still weird because it's only three cards, so it shouldn't really be that complicated. Oh, what? They have no cards left in their deck? Oh, so they can make two rats. And have exactly lethal. That's very good. Is that is that exactly lethal? No, we go to one. Right? They make a rat. This is a 3-3, three, three, that's a 4-4. Four, four. What? So now they're dead. They have no cards in their hand or library. Why wouldn't they just put me to like one? What the f- I'm like flabbergasted right now. If they don't make two rats, if they don't activate this guy, they still have two cards in their library. So they attack with this, 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 and the rat. I block a rat. I chump block this. I take... These would be two twos, so I take three. Uh, I... Uh, like, and then if you just negative this guy to make another guy, I'm taking four, so I'm going to two. You have another rat on board. Next turn, you make another token. I'm like... flabbergasted as to what just happened right there. Uh, what? Did I just witness? <laughs> Oh my, I just, I'm like, I, I thought I was completely losing that game. I'm pretty sure it all went downhill despite their like four planeswalkers. Like, <laughs> they're stream sniping and saw that you were having a bad time. That's probably what happened, yeah. That was very sympathetic of them. I wish this was a four drop Garrick instead. Oh good, another blue-black deck. This should be a blast. Yield until next end step. No four drops, huh? I'd be asking for too much. <laughs> Here's seven lands, though. Okay, thank you. Oh, they missed the land drop? Alright, well, which one do I want to get counted more? Probably the Gargaroth, right? Yeah, go ahead, disallow or dissolve this, whatever you whatever you happen to have. They pizzaed when they should have French fried. I can't argue with that. Nothing you're saying is wrong. Oh wow. Wait. This is main phase, so I'm just gonna get to attack with this. Oh boy. 
and they just let me keep. Oh, they they played on themselves. Oh, 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 Lord. I bet they're, I guarantee you they're going to forget Gargaroth has Vigilance, or has Reach. That is my, I guarantee it. Oh, it came so close. I'm going to draw six. Okay. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I think that'll do. Ten cards in your hand. What have we had? One, two, three, four, five, six. So five, six, seven mana. We could have went coarser. Druid, Mystic, and then still gone down. But yeah, all right. I mean, that was... That was good. All right. I think our deck is good. It's just a lot harder when you deal with uh, your first six spells getting countered. Ooh, Night's Whisper. They're like, never again. God damn it. <laughs> That's frustrating. Oh, good. I want to, I want to, I want to prepare myself for like, Questing Beast. It was a tireless tracker, which is still pretty good here. So we can go one, two, three. Put a land into play. Actually, we can just play Garrick, I guess. So I was going to say Beanstalk into Nissa. Get a land, get a land. So many lands. Oh, interesting. I, f I have a bad feeling about that. Mm, let me use this for footsteps. Oh, I didn't realize this would actually put us 2-7, which is pretty sweet if it resolves. Big if true. What are the five cards in their hand? They're not countering or killing anything. Okie dokie. Like, making a Shy doesn't seem great, because then they can just Creeping Tar Pit kill Nyssa, and, like, if they have a, a Sweeper anyway, it's already pretty bad. Pro 
Frost Titan. Silumgar. Yep, that's pretty good. Draw three. No, just make a beast. The problem is they took our Crater Hoof, and I don't think we have any answer for a Dragonlord Silumgar in our deck, so that's unfortunate. Meanwhile, they can just keep milling us, and we have 12 cards left. Actually, Woodfall Primus on Ashiok or Garrick is not bad. Six, seven. Could we just Woodfall Primus the Ashiok here? Guess we gotta play land. <sighs> you know, Dragonlord Solemngar is a hard dude to deal with. I forgot that was a thing. Yep, that's gonna be the end. I did not, I forgot, totally forgot Garrick's ultimate was at six. I mean, that's my bad. I kind of like Venser here. I mean, they do have, Spyglass is actually not terrible. They do have Ashiok, but I don't know if it's good enough just for Ashiok. I'd rather just play Venser in order to bounce whatever they take. It's just really hard when we have no answer for a Dragonlord Silumgar, and that guy takes a lot of our big heavy hitters. I mean, again, it's like we. I feel like we're having a hard time drawing things we can cast with the ramp that we draw, or we're just not drawing ramp. But I kept the sand because we have double blue and a Venser. Yeah, beautiful serum visions. Mm. yeah that's fine ideally we draw like Beanstalk Giant or Kodama's Reach and this is fine gets a body on the board draws us a card sure gets to keep a Venser Hypnotic Spectre fascinating Are we trading? I'll trade. I 
I'm gonna do this now because I don't feel like having them, them, them having a counter spell, us not getting Vencer, and us discarding a card. One, two, three, back, back again. And it's also relatively aggressive as well, so. I mean, right now we have a 25% chance of discarding either one of these. 25 for this, 25 for this. 50% to discard something good. So I kind of want to crack this. Lower the chances to 20. Disfigure. Sure. I mean, that's their... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, fucking cry. Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We get to flip Nissa here. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Dang, I feel like that was my fault. You know what, Hodge? Me too, buddy. In case they got mana leak. Flip it. Oh, Hinterland Harbies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana already, so I'm probably just going to keep Tribe Elder up in hand because it's one fewer cards to be able to discard to uh, to the Spectre. We should also attack with Lumbering Falls, I think. <laughs> oh, going face again. Sure. 33% chance. Nice, that is... Perfect. Sure. Uh, let's get in there for two. Hope you don't have a counter spell, I guess. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Feels good. I mean, if they want to make me discard Screw Tribal, that's fine. We have eight power on board, 11 power on board, and they're at eight, so. Oh, look, they got second black. Oh, hoo -hoo. Ooh, it's real now. They block here, it's got trample, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this guy's got a little text proof, so sure. I think that's it. I'm trying to scroll down. Oh yeah, we got him again. All right, green deck coming through for us. Hajigalashi, even though even though you caused us to have to discard a uh, Consecrated Sphinx, I still forgive you. I forgive you. Where'd our match go? Oh, it's down here. See, again, like, literally no ramp creatures, but also only four drops and five drops. <sighs> Meanwhile, any Elvish Mystic, Sylvan Carry Added, Devoted Druid, or Sakura Tribe Elder. Do we, do we, do we keep this? This does seem better. Oh, mono red. So the odds of our 
Oh, that was actually a great draw because now we can just play that. Hinterland into Devoted into Kodama or Moldrifter. Oh boy. So we're already bringing Primal Command in. Will not block. Okay. Oh, what? She survives? Is it just Garrick make a dude? One, two, we have five total mana. We can go Garrick for four, untap two, untap this, Kodama's reach as well. I and mean, Garrick just dies? I actually think it's big moles here. Okay. Well, that's a gentleman. Here comes. Oh, what? They didn't play anything pre combat. What is happening here? This is interesting. So we have five total mana. I'd like to keep this up for a block. I mean, now we have two blockers, they have two guys. I am worried about Thunder Mile Kite though, so. Siege Gang Commander also very good. Jeez. Can a dude get an Elder Gargaroth up in here? Three, four, five. One, two, three. For Beanstalk, which gives us one, two, three, four. And then we can make a guy. I'm fuck, I think we're just dead to this, this nonsense. Oh boy. The problem is they can alpha and shoot two things, including my face. <sighs> Fuck, CJ is such a beating when you're at like less than 10 life and your board isn't full. Two blockers. I think we just need three blockers. I think we just have to go Garrick. Oh boy. Maybe. Get in there. Yeah, this is going to be brutal. We're just dead. Unfortunate. They can also just shoot six things. So, like, we go block, 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 and they shoot us with the things we block with, so. If we do Bean Boy, dude, Garrick, dude, we're going to have to tap to vote a Druid. So we'd actually lose a land. We'd actually lose a blocker. So we'd, we're actually just dead if we do that. Yeah, CG Gang's real hard, just hard to deal with. Like, you just turn all your dudes sideways. The ones I block, you shoot me with. Like, even if I block here, 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 right? Like, I take three. I go to five. They sh Oh, wow.
Huh, huh. I'm gonna be honest, this is why you don't just concede. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get you off the board. And I don't wanna take four here, and I think this is outlet point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven's not gonna do it next turn. And going to four is a little suspect here. Yeah, okay. We do have Lumbering Falls. One, two, three. We're one shy for that too, though. But, we go one, two, three for Beanstalk Giant. Then we have one, two, three. See, the fact that they have three creatures is pretty bad. Like, we just need to keep up Hinterland Harbor, I think. But then the problem with that is that we don't get to do anything next turn either. I guess we could just cast Beanstalk Giant. Yeah, that seems fine. I said keep up Hinderland Harbor. I meant Lumbering Falls, obviously, but... Yeah, if they just turned all their things, in including even Mutavault sideways... And then they can shoot me for... I'm essentially at four and I just can't win. Yeah, I'm doing as much as I can to keep Urshigar Kenner on the board of all the creatures because it is better in the graveyard. Five mana and two cards. And this guy's a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then if we draw another land, we got an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was really good. <sighs> One, two, three. So right now, we can go one, two, three. Oh, my God. They have one card. Are we just dead? Oh, God. That was a good draw. We just have to not die. Game three. <laughs> Not close. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're definitely playing this. And Elvish Mystic. Wow. This has been a game, dude. Oh my god, Elder Gargaroth, you are a beautiful piece of work. And we're still at four. We're not out of the woods yet. Going to seven feels a lot better. Like that. Still not dead. This says trample, so there's dead, right? Oh, God. Oh my god. Jeez. Well, he didn't have enough mana to throw 8 damage worth. He only had 6 damage worth. But nevertheless. Pretty 
Primal Command definitely comes in. Plow Under goes out. I think Whirl Rogue's actually pretty good. It puts a bunch of bodies on the board. And we've never had a problem with Double Blue yet. For all our Double Blue needs, we have... Um, also, there was something else, wasn't there? It's like eight sources of blue. Oh, Beanstalk Giant. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Anything too slow? Woodfall Primus doesn't seem great here. <laughs> Do we just board in Day of Judgment? <laughs> Knight of Autumn actually seems decent. Like, one planes we can bring in Sea Chrome, Razor Verge Thicket off of. Eh. I think we can do without it. Let's just try it like this. Um. This hand's kind of slow again. We have to have a Nissa into a Questing Beast. His hands were definitely worse. First turn this guy, and we can put a gem razor on it. Sure. I'm going to call it flicking the bean. What does that even mean? Is that like a... Is that a euphemism? I think we just cast this guy as a man next turn. And then ideally we draw a land. Um, yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Okay. Cast. Four is big, but they do have flame spill and collective brutality. Not collective brutality, collective defiance, I guess. Oh, Rabble Master's coming home. We're definitely blocking Rebel Master. I'm going to take four, five, six, seven here. Would absolutely love a blue source here. Preferably when it comes into play untapped. Thanks for nothing. Okay. Well, this is how we lose. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> okay okay good to hear good to hear here comes siege gang again that's better four five six seven eight nine yeah that's gonna be the end all right that was a fun game i think i like my first hand better I will keep this. We have a Corsair of Crew Fix and a Garrick. Come on, Tri Builder. One time. Seven carry out of Tri Builder. That was land. God, my one times never work. Always a turn too late. Oh, and we're going to draw that? No bueno. Draw a card. Cycle. That's a can trip. 
We could just do the, uh... I mean, even if they kill this guy, we still get to follow up with Garrick, which is totally fine. They did not. So now we can eat Gobo. This guy dancing? What's happening? Oh, second blue? That's what Father likes. I mean, what we don't like is uh, drawing another land. We could have actually played Mystic to untap... Oh, we can still untap two next turn. Never mind, I'm an idiot. See, this feels better for us. I think we're going to win. Guys, if you haven't done so, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash Frank if you guys are looking for a sweet internet security solution. You will get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one free month. It's a pretty good deal. VPNs are pretty sweet. You can get region lock content. 30-day money-back guarantee if you guys want to try it out. And uh, you should be browsing securely. You can also check out manatraders.com. They give you 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below in the description. That's also a great deal. Oh, no. Yep, I knew Garrick was dead. I knew he was dead before he even, before he even got off the train. But at least we're keeping up here. I'm just gonna play Mystic here, and then next turn we can play Consecrated Sphinx. Thank you, Zimini Pot. Great article this week. Very insightful. I like. I would. I would like to powerful pushed removal again. That doesn't make any sense, Zimini Pot. I know what you mean though, and I appreciate the comment. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Is NordVPN and Nordic Track the same company? No. I'm just going to block here. I'll take one because I don't want to risk a Corsair dying if they have like a three damage spell. It's also very silly to attack with this guy as well. When I have two, two very capable blockers. So if they have, like, Incinerate, Shiv and Fire. You'll get caught up in the Shiv and Fire. So maybe I should have blocked with both. They couldn't Shiv and Fire. They could also have Incinerate. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Wow. Sometimes you just call it, you know. Dang it. I mean, we're definitely consecrated six this turn into uh, into Avenger next turn seems pretty insane, Un unbeatable. I, w I might say. I would like to see. Ra I would like to see rather. I just got home from a fourteen-hour day. I'm a little tired. Zimmy Pod, I hope you're all right, buddy. I hope you're doing okay. I'm definitely blocking now because I don't think they have a. Oh, they got a flame spell. Can you imagine? You, you know what? I don't think I care. I just want to kill their two biggest guys, and then if they want to kill one of my guys, I've drawn two cards, and Avengers just gonna uh, clean up. I think they have flame spill, but either way, we get to keep cursor still. Oh, collective fight, sure, same thing. It's a thing that dealt. For okay, Karkaroth, gain another life. Yeah, look at this for the first time. I'm still not going to attack. Two damage is not worth it. I can still just block two guys. Like, I just don't think we lose this game if we play tight. Like, next time we're going to go land Elder Gargaroth. Like, that's not a winnable situation. That's interesting. <laughs> Clock 
crossfire. Crossfire. All right, so. Yeah, all right. One. How do they block here? I'm just gonna play Gargaroth still. And actually, Sylvan Carry added just. I mean, like, I'll take a point, but like. But, like, the point's not super relevant because we're putting a blocker on the board, right? So, like, I mean, it's not like it matters. Like, we have 7, 8, 9. We have 11 creatures on board. All we need is a crater hoof. We're going to next time we're going to Garrick and draw 6. Flame spill on Corsair. We don't actually... That's fine. They're paying one more for something. Oh, that's that's it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome to another trophy, Trophy Town. Uh, let's. I'm gonna open this treasure chest before we go, and then everyone can have a good night. Treasure chest. Let's see what you got. Oh, a weirding shaman. How weird. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.